Hello everyone and welcome by the Arcade Saga. Today we have a repotting to do. These are the uh, Arcades I did order in my last unboxing video. And uh, today I'm going to repot them and have a look uh, inside those pots. I really want to get them out quite quickly because they are, especially those three, are heavily on the moss. And in for my uh, in my case it's a little bit too much. Therefore I like to get them out as quickly. And I thought. This is a nice opportunity to film this, of course. So first we're going to start with my uh, Dendrobium cross, Spectabular cross. Actually it's a uh, Marco film with, uh, crossed with Spectabulum. Spectabul, I'm sorry. So let's get it one out of the pot. We have uh, some growing tips on the roots that are getting out of the pot. So I hope there are more there feels quite firm. So I hope we find some growing tips that would be good of course. This one's really stuck in there. Uh, whoops. Oh it's quite a lot of roots. That's good. That's a good sign. But we have also mold starting to form in these pots. So yeah, it's time to uh, do a repot on this. Uh, I like to uh, have carpets with a few less roots to start with. It's a little bit easier to get them going in self-watering in my experience. But on the other hand, this is a good sign, of course. So yeah, I'm happy with this, don't get me wrong. but. It's sometimes a little bit easier to uh, give them a new environment when you have younger argots who are just starting to grow uh, quite a root system. But uh, yeah, I cannot compl complain too much, so obviously, but it's a beautiful argot. And we have uh, quite a lot of new growing tips, so I think we are going to be fine. But always it's a little bit more risk in my experience. Get a little bit closer there. We have to poke everything out. A little bit of moss even in there, I think. Yes. Some very old moss, I think. And it's a little bit smelly, so uh, yeah, I think it's quite old the medium. So this was uh, really due for a repot. And as you can see, we have some mold there, so it's really time to give this a good repot and clean things up as we go. Oops. There it is. Try to get it off and leave the root intact, but I think I'm gonna yeah damage this root, but that bark was uh, had uh, the mold on it, so yeah. I really need to get rid of that. So I will lose some roots. I cannot uh, work around them as much as I would like, but yeah, I think it will be fine. And I don't know if you can see it right about my finger. I'm gonna zoom in. We have a bush snail there. I hope you can see it. So yeah, this one was uh, needed a repot. I can use my hydrogen peroxide for it. So I'm happy that I did do a repot quite quickly. After uh, yesterday I received the argus and today I already started repotting. This is one of the reasons because of the snails. I have a lot of snails coming in through um, argus that I did bought online from the greenhouses. Not not always online, also in the, when I found them in the, in the shops, but uh, new bought orchids coming in my greenhouse have quite a lot of, uh, of times they have bush snails. So therefore I like to repot them quite quickly and get rid of those snails. I don't want to snails in my collection, of course. But that means that I do need to clean up these roots quite 
well because of the uh, chance of uh, that slug had uh, a bush snail in, in this case had a late eyes somewhere in between the roots so I need to cover that with hydrogen peroxide as good as I can to get rid of them so I might damage some roots but I really need to do that in the beginning with my berry de um, the dendrobium berry oda which is now a very big plant I thought same situation I, ha I had some snails there quite a lot of roots and I was so afraid to damage them and I feel very sorry for the plant so I thought yeah I'll give it some hydrogen and put it up well I think about one two months later all those new roots were gone I had a snail infestation so now I just suffer some roots but I will give it a good soak of hydrogen because I don't want those snails in my pot so I learned my lesson but therefore you see me maybe being a little bit rough on the roots but that's the reason I'd rather have uh, to wait for new roots than have snails in my pots because that it harms the plant so much having snails in there Uh, this one was fairly dry it's sometimes useful especially with bark I think it's a bit easier to get them off the roots but it's my uh, my way that I I like it some people like to have first soak them but I think they do break off a little bit uh, quicker in my uh, in my case and it's easier to grab it to grab the bark with my fingers Grab my puners, I puners, I think you call them. I, I'm not completely sure. I'm sorry, but let's so much multi bark in there. You can see the bark is very, very dirty. So I need to have that out of my pot. I will just give this a rinse under the tap very soon just to get those last bits and pieces out as good as I can and then I will be back filming and I'm back from uh, running this under the tap and now I try to get those last pieces out in this case it's a little bit more work because of the uh, amount of roots that I have on this plant and I try to save as much as I can um, but yeah it takes a little bit longer than it normally does but it's okay and I just bought this plant because I like that Dendrobium spectabile. Spectabile. <laughs> I always have a hard time to uh, pronounce that name, but I really like it. But I can only get it in, as seedlings most of the time, so I thought I want a, a slightly bigger plant, and that's why I came up with this cross. They had it for sale at Karger in Germany. But this is a really big plant, so I'm really happy that I bought this one. And the blooms are. Um, uh, kind of similar to the spectab spectabile, I think that's how you pronounce it, spectabile. And so I, I, I will get there, <laughs> give me some time, I need to practice, but um, yeah, spectabile, and I think it's a beautiful cross, and there's a piece of bark, is really stuck there, but I want to have it out. Uh, it doesn't want to come out. Yes. Maybe I can find it this way. No, I have pretty much everything out. So that's good, but 
because of this bush nail that I saw, I want this piece out as well. Why won't you come out? Let's see if I can up. And I broke this root. Let me feel if this if it really is bark or not. Yeah, I think it's already gone. It's a little bit black there, but it's alright. I don't think it's here. We're almost there, and there we go. I'm just, while I'm working on this orchid, debating with myself I sh if I should cut off the back end. We have very small bulbs here, and we have quite a lot of big ones there, but I don't want to separate it. It's really one big plant growing in different directions, which is beautiful, I think. But I think I can cut this piece off and thereby all the all the roots. So I'm going to cut it right after this one, I'm sorry, after this little section there. So grab me uh, my uh, scissors. I cannot remember the name on top of my head. But this one should do the trick. So I want to make a cut. Like I said, I hope you can see it right after this little old bulb. Without too much damage, I hope. Yeah. That was how I planned it. Oops, and there you go. You see? Maybe a few good roots, but this is a very small old section of the plant that I didn't need anymore. So I did cut it off. It has four little bulbs. It's a beautiful seedling, grown on from seedling. So I'm going to throw that away. And let's have a look. We have a nice green rhizome. That's beautiful. So I will grab some uh, cinnamon. Now first I'm going to spray the roots with hydrogen peroxide. I have it here in... Um, yeah, here it is. Let's do that first. Just spraying the wound as well. You can see it does start... Uh, you can now see it's a little bit white. That's because of the hydrogen. That's okay. And then I'm going to put it some uh, cinnamon on it to seal the wound. Beautiful stuff, cinnamon. Try to get rid every little section because of the snail that I did found in the pot. And in between the bulbs as well. Let me hear it. Oh yes. The excess can go already. Oops. I need my little blue basket. And I'm going to put the orchid in here and let it uh, rest for uh, about three minutes or a bit longer when I'm ready. And I will put some cinnamon on the wound as well. But okay, this is uh, what we got so far. I will spray my uh, scissor with some alcohol and also my puners something yes this is really alcohol <laughs> it's very strong okay I will continue do this uh, with uh, my other three plants I will not bother you guys with uh, all that on potting because it's the same process uh, basically over and over again and thereby this video will uh, become very long but I will be coming back to you guys when I've uh, done them and when I'm starting to up them so see you in a second 
Okay, I am a bit earlier uh, back than I thought. Just to show you guys, this is uh, two, three, four. This is my uh, Dendromium Banana Royal. This is one plant with a, with a new growth. Beautiful new root, so I think I can save that one. This is a cane with nothing on. I didn't break it. I didn't break it at all. Maybe I'm going to give this a try. I'm not sure yet, to be honest. Well, let me show it to you guys. Um, I hope you can see it. Right at the base of that cane is a little green spot. So it's trying to survive. So yeah, I cannot throw this away, obviously. I will give it a chance because it's working on a new growth. And yeah, if an orchid is trying so hard, we cannot go with, uh, throw it away, obviously. <laughs> so I keep that one. Okay, so I have four plants now. Because we have this one as well. This one is also making new roots, so it's is uh, savable and this is a growth with a lot of roots on strangely actually for such a tiny orchid look at the amount of roots it has that looks promising <laughs> and new growing tips so I will put this up as well I'm going to put them up separately I, I'm, I'm really a uh, grower that likes to have one orchid in one pot at the same time. It's just who I, I am. Uh, I'm not happy with this. I'd rather have one plant instead of four very teeny tiny plants. But yeah, it happens. It was only five euros, so it's okay, but yeah, still. Like Roger says all the time, it's a little bit cheating, and it is because you're thinking that you buy one plant you turn out with four very small plants, so yeah, that's not really what you uh, what you bought, if you uh, ask me. But anyhow, this is just a little update in between, so I will uh, continue, and I hope the other two are just one plant, and not four, five, six small plants. We shall see. If they are, I will be back earlier than expected. And another little update, this is my... Juice, Chu Tang Beauty with barely, well, uh, this is a root, but that's it. So, sadly, in a very bad shape. It also is desiccating already, so that was a sign for me that it didn't do so well. But it's, if, if this shoots out new roots, it will be uh, fine, I think. Just a bit smaller than it could have been, but look at this. Crazy, so much marsh, so much marsh, and barely any any roots on it. So why it was really potted up this high in moss, completely covered the base. It it really doesn't make sense to me. I'm sorry, but yeah. So okay, I think we can grow this on. But I wanted to show you this just for uh, for my own notes as well. But uh, okay, we have one to go. I'm really curious to see what we find in that pot as well. And uh, we will do another update as well. As you can see, this very light green thing is a new growth completely covered in moss. That's why it's so light of color. It never saw any daylight until now. And lots of moss in there. But we have some roots. But yeah, it was completely covered. I don't see the point in doing that. I really don't. So I'm gonna mess with this uh, a few minutes longer and I will be back and then I did unpot these guys and we will start up potting them again. Okay, I was kidding. <laughs> These guys were two plants, at least we have this one that was covered with that new growth, covered in uh, in moss. I didn't uh, have a rhizome cut, so this is obviously one plant on its own. 
and then we have this smaller one and yes this is connected through a rhizome so we obviously have two plants of the same in the pot it's way smaller than that one and yeah, it has some roots on but that's it it's like it has a hole in right above my finger it's a sort of hole in that cane maybe a snail or something ate something of this orchid but I will give it a try because it is also is trying to survive and um, so we will give this one a chance as well and I also will this apart it separately from that one I will just have one plant in one pot okay I think now when I'm coming back we will start up potting them but you never know full of surprises this uh, uh, repotting session so um, we shall see we shall see and now it's finally time to uh, do a pot them again I have my dirty pumice here and by dirty mean it's that there are quite a small pieces that almost look like sand it's okay I'm going to flush out quite a lot of them but that's why it looks so dirty it's nothing uh, doesn't raise that P ppm uh, much or barely anything I did measure it but it's just looking dirty it's just broken pumice I didn't have a good look at the bag when I bought it and I bought broken ones so that's that and I have my first orchid here I have my pot here I have a wire in here uh, I did see this on uh, Ninja's Orchid uh, channel so I did try to copy it as good as I can but this will I can uh, attach the uh, orchid to this and uh, keep it a little bit more stable and also I'm going to uh, include as always my water meter I only have these longer ones I thought I had a few more but I apparently did bought some new orchids last couple months so I'm running out of these guys but I have these longer ones so the other orchids I need to put up as well obviously and also use some wires on that because they didn't have much roots but on those I can use this as a stake as well um, but the smaller ones I uh, have to do uh, without these uh, mother, uh, sorry, water meters but it is what it is and I uh, have to deal with what I have now but it will, we will see that in a minute and how uh, we will find a, or make a plan for now I'm going to pot this up and I'm f first filling up um, the amount of water that will be in the reservoir uh, with pumice uh, by that I mean that the roots of the orchids will not stand directly in the water when I fill it up with uh, water around the base so therefore I always need a start with only my media and like I said in this case it's pumice for me I'm really uh, fan of pumice I think this is enough maybe a little bit too much we will see if it is too much I just have to take it out and that's it it's not a big problem obviously I try to get it around the water meter I have a bit of a hole there in the root system and let's get you into place it's a long wire so therefore it looks a little bit wibbly but I think it will be okay in a second when I fill it up with uh, media but first I have to decide where I will place my argot and I have different direct growth, uh, directions of growth we have one here and one there so I try to get them uh, in the middle of the pot so I have some room left for new growth here like this I think yeah I think we should be fine so I will I will uh, hold it like this and uh, fill it up with the uh, pumice I was really checking if I'm uh, agreeing with myself and I do I think this is uh, the best place to put the uh, orchid I'm always trying to check my work because now I have the chance to change it and there's one root going through this I 
Obviously I can always change it, but I have to do a repot all over again. That's not a good idea if you don't have to. I'm gonna shake it. And there you go. It's already starting to look so. So I'm gonna now going to tie it up. And I'm going to use this, these four bigger canes and get them together. So it's not that top heavy anymore. If my wire is long enough. I yes. It works. And I think it's quite stable. Could have been a little bit stabler, but I think uh, once these roots start to grow, it will be okay. So I will fill it up with a top layer of pebbles, as I always do. And as long as I've, as I have a good humidity in a growing uh, in my uh, greenhouse, these roots should be fine. And new growth, especially from dendrobiums, cattleyas, mostly find their way into the pot even though they are a little bit above the medium. I don't have problems with that, but if you do have, you should put it a little bit lower in the pot. I keep it like this, it's okay for me. But it's something, uh, something uh, to notice. So, let's grab that outer pot and put it in. Well, um, yeah, I'm going to put it in. I need to flush it because of the dirty pumice, but um, I'm not happy with this. Why won't she go in? It's a very big carpet. <laughs> and there you go. It's now much stabler in a pot than it was. You can move it around quite quite a bit. I will not do that as uh, only if it, if, if it really is needed. But it will stand still now. It will get adjust, adjusted in a pot and it will be fine. But I will make this a little bit smaller. It's a little bit easier for me to get it out. And that's the first one. I will flush it now and then I will back, bring it back in a greenhouse. And I will uh, be back with the other ones. So I ended up with quite some uh, more orchids than I had anticipated. Actually four, because the banana were four plants and the uh, sweet orange were, turned out were two plants. So I had four uh, basically extra plants. But now I have put them up all and I'm now going to flush them. So I thought I'm going to show how I flush them. It's very easy, and then we will have a look in the pot because I'm uh, in the in the sink because I expect quite some some sandy stuff from this pumice because it's so dirty. But I just pour some clean RO water through the pots, and it should take care of quite a lot of that sandy stuff. Not all, but it's at least getting rid of quite quite a lot of it. one and there you go I will repeat this with the other ones that I have standing here and then we will have a look in the sink and see what is coming out of those spots so let's have a look at the sink and this is the dirt that is coming out of the pots little pieces of pumice a bit bigger than sand but I uh, I think the roots don't mind this in my experience but what you can have is if you have too much of it in this in your pots there is no room for air so therefore I try to flush it out as much as I can and that's it and I try to not flush it through my sink here but I uh, so I need to scoop it out somehow and then I will throw it in a bin but 
yeah this is what is uh, you get when you have a bad bag of pommers and I am in the greenhouse now we will have a last look at the plants here are my two cattleya types one without uh, any roots barely any roots and this one had that new growth covered completely in moss so I am um, it's now later in the afternoon so they do get a little bit of sunshine but most of the time they are quite covered here underneath those shelves as you can see and on the other side I have uh, my dendrobiums and my second cattleya. It's there and these are the three dendrobiums. I do share a tray with them. I will fill it up with water, uh, with seaweed, because it saves me quite some time on water watering them. And um, yeah, if they have any diseases, I'm sorry, but this makes life a little bit easier for me. The Spectabile cross is here and the banana royal or banana <laughs> let me know in the comments i think it's uh, I, I will call it banana but uh, <laughs> this one i think i'm going to keep this is the, the better part i think a beautiful new growth it has quite some health and new roots maybe the other ones turn out uh, well as uh, as well but i then can choose this has some troubles on the leaves it's like something cut those off but we will see how they do. So this turned out uh, to be quite a uh, long experience for me. I have way more orchids to uh, up out than I uh, anticipated in the uh, in the beginning. And uh, but yeah, it uh, it happens. It's uh, it's not a bad surprise. I rather had a little bit larger plants and a little few of a uh, uh, little less of them. But anyhow, it's what it is. Um, so yeah, I think the plants are okay, but I'm not really happy at this point yet with my order from Karge. It is what it is, but I must admit that the Dendrobium Banana Royal is, was um, on a discount. But if I paid full price, I, price, it was around, I think, 20, 25, I don't know, a few years back. I think that's a little bit too much for a plant which is actually four teeny tiny little plants I think then you have to um, admit that your plants are a little tinier than they uh, they are when then you wish and just um, put it in the notes there so customers know what they are buying that's me I think that was more honest but okay I will do some updates on these guys as well so for me it's a nice um, nice opportunity to uh, Keep an eye on them and filming them, but yeah, anyhow. So, okay, so far this video, uh, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave, please leave them in the comment section below. And for now, uh, once again, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye-bye.